Now, if you're looking at uh, combinatorial uh, reliability, and we consider the case when uh, all the units are essential, and in that case, we have seen that Rs is equal to the product i equal to 1 to n ri and we have seen the parallel case where um, system will work if any one of the units is uh, good and in that case we have seen that system reliability is given by 1 minus the product i equal to 1 to n, 1 minus r sub i. And uh, so these are the two common configurations. And then we have here talking about uh, coverage. And uh, as a coverage, as a C, which could be between uh, 1 to uh, 0. And the impact of the coverage, if you have a primary and a, a backup. And then we were looking at the key out of end systems. And uh, we have seen an example of TMR which is a um, two out of three. And we found out that reliability of PMR is given by PR squared minus two R. And for permanent failures, we saw that uh, MTDF comes out to be 5 by 6 lambda, which is actually slightly less than MTDF of a single unit. And we uh, uh, calculated the mission time. And uh, we then calculated the um, now let's see, did we consider the temporary faults in uh, TMR? We haven't seen that yet. So, so this, this is where we were, right? So we, we were looking at the mission time, and we uh, saw that uh, for mission time, TMR is uh, much better than a single module. Okay, now let's consider temporary faults. Now, for temporary faults, we can uh, talk about a steady state case, and we can uh, write availability for TMR. Now, the combinatorial expressions will work for availability also, except that we have to write as 3a squared minus 2a cubed. And if you, you can actually uh, Go over uh, our, how we came to this, and you will find that exactly the same uh, analysis would apply. Availability of a TMR, remember availability is the probability that the system is available or operating correctly at some instant in time. And we are uh, assuming here that uh, you have a steady state availability. Uh, notice that availability, let's come here, availability, and we have seen this expression before, 
is equal to mu by lambda plus mu. So, as an example, we can let's assume that lambda by mu is equal to 0 0.01. Uh, which basically implies that the availability is equal to 0 0.9901. So that is that's a zero there. So basically, 99% of the time, the system is good. And about 1% of the time system is bad. And notice that that actually means that uh, the transition rate lambda, the red rate by which it becomes bad, is uh, much smaller than the rate at which it becomes good. Right? And hence we can say unavailability is equal to 0 0.01 approximately. So notice that availability of TMR is equal to 0 0.9997. And compared with this, you will notice that TMR has much better availability unless you insist on approximating 0.99 by uh, 1. Because notice that uh, you have to compare un unavailability. That makes much more sense for highly reliable system and unavailability is 0 0.0003. So this is really what you should compare. So it is unavailable 1% uh, of the time and this is unavailable uh, zero point 0.03% of the time, right? So this is much more highly available. 